Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn about the simple factory pattern, a common creational design pattern in software development. Let's start with a real-world example. Imagine you're renovating your home and need some furniture. You have two choices. The first is to put on a carpenter's apron, gather wood, glue, nails, and all the necessary tools, and make the furniture yourself at home. The second option is to contact a furniture factory and have them deliver ready-made furniture to your home. This way, you don't need to learn how to make furniture or deal with the problems that arise during the process. The simple factory pattern is similar to the second option. Now let's look at its definition. In simple terms, a simple factory generates an instance for the client without exposing any instantiation logic to the client. According to Wikipedia, in Object-Oriented Programming, OOP, a factory is an object for creating other objects. Simply put, a factory is a function or method that returns objects of varying prototypes or classes from a method call, which typically creates new objects. Now, let's look at an example of a simple factory implemented in Java. First, I defined an interface called door. It has two methods that return the width and height of a door. Next, I defined a class wooden door that implements the door interface. It has two internal variables, width and height, which store the width and height of the door. It has a constructor that takes width and height as input and initializes these two instance variables. Then, there are two methods that read width and height. As you can see, wooden door is a concrete implementation of door. Finally, we define a simple factory class, door factory. It has a static method, make door, that takes width and height as parameters. This method returns an instance of any class that implements the door interface. Inside the method, it creates a new wooden door instance and returns it. Let's look at an example of using this door factory. By calling the make door static method on door factory and passing in the width and height, say 100 and 200, we can get an instance of door. We can then print out the width and height of this door. Similarly, we can use door factory to quickly create another instance of door, say door 2, with a width of 50 and a height of 100. So, in what scenarios should we consider using the simple factory pattern? If object creation is complex, involving multiple steps or intricate logic, we can encapsulate this creation logic in a separate factory to avoid repetition and simplify our code. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this video helpful, remember to like it and subscribe to the ByteVigor channel so you won't miss more exciting content in the future. See you in the next video.